Hi everyone, it's Phoebus, and as you can see, this is a bit of a different video, as I wanted to do something a little bit different as a, I guess, special to me date is coming up, as this is going up at the very end of June, but on the 4th of July, it will be the two-year anniversary of my channel starting. Um, on the 4th of July 2021, I uploaded my first ever Let's Play. However, that video is still annoyingly the fifth most viewed video on my channel, with about 33 views. Woo. But, this is kind of about that, but I also wanted to go back and look at everything I've done. And, we're now halfway through 2023, which is fucking terrifying already. And I kind of wanted to go back through kind of what has happened in between me starting my channel and just within this year as well. Um, so obviously, in in July of 2022, I started my little channel. And during that summer, I had a very consistent, up well, maybe not consistent in a linear sense, but I uploaded very regularly throughout the months of um, July all the way through in November when I then turned 18 and then it kind of trailed off after that and truth be told I couldn't really tell you why I stopped making content then I don't have enough memory of that time I was about to start my A-level so it might have been to do with that but who's to say but I then picked it up again not quite, but nearly a whole year later, with a complete and utter channel rebrand, which is when I was used to go by the odd buffalo and then change to Phoebus. So that was in around August. I then 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 didn't touch my channel until March of 2023, where I had pretty much a consistent upload schedule for the entirety of the month of March. But I can explain as to why it did grind to a halt was because I had just started my final project for college and it was very much all hands on deck, very stressed, didn't know what I was doing. However, I have probably now, I started re-uploading at the beginning of J June and now coming to July I feel quite confident that I've managed to keep a semi-regular upload schedule and I'm pretty proud of that. So, this year I uh, passed my driving test, um, first time in a different city, I had tried it three times at a previous uh, location and I fucking hated it and driving, I don't want to say it was the worst thing I've ever done, I think it's a great skill to have, I think learning to drive is important, however, I was so fucking sick of learning to drive that I was so ready to just burn my license the now the second it came through the door, but I'm glad I've learned. I also finished college this year, I did a one year uh, foundation course, I think is what it's called, where I just got to like talk about make shit for a year, which was really nice. Um, what other things have I done this year? I rang a bank and made an appointment. I think that's a pretty big achievement because I hate making phone calls because I'm always worried I'm going to like ring up and, and I'm going to be like as prepared as I can be to answer all their questions. And I'm just going to, like, not get it right. <laughs> but, yeah, there's, there's not many other things happen this year other than I finished college and passed my driving test. Um, oh, I'm fully applied for university now. Um, it, coming up this September, I'll be going away to uni, which I kind of want to keep making these videos where I kind of do these kind of talking videos about kind of like stuff that I'm kind of going through because I'm very much in the the throes of going to university. The, one of the things is, is do I continue to do this? Do I continue to do YouTube? Which I mean, it's not like I've got... I mean, it makes more sense that I'm questioning it because I have an audience that's sat with about the same number of subscribers as a bag of crisps. But at the same time, I like making videos. It's really fun. But I found it very hard to make content this last week because my sister's been off and I find it much easier to record when it's just me and the dog in the house. Um, I need to stop saying, um, I, I hate when I'm going editing my videos, I am constantly going, uh, 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 it's like, ugh. To be fair, I'm not particularly quick when it comes to talking all the time. Sometimes I do have to sit and think and I have to go, uh, 
but then it's just awkward and I don't like it. But yeah. University's been a very scary thing to go to and try and figure out because obviously I kind of have that year gap. And for some people it's like, oh it's not that important. It's not that like scary or different, but it's I that was definitely one of my biggest fears when I decided to go a year later because all of my friends started last year. I was very much worried about being like I think I overdid it in my head because in my head I was like I'm going to be this ancient fossil and these are all going to be a bunch of squeaky clean children. No, everyone's just 18 but I kind of and I was like oh yeah no we're all the same but then I'm like no I've done my A-levels already I've done all that already. Um, I'm not trying to do uni and I'm not trying to also do my A-levels at the same time I'm not trying to I'm not having to do that. I also have a year's worth of drinking under my belt, which is, I would say, pretty useful. With freshers being such a big drink fest, it's always a bit like, oh, let's get wasted every single night this week, woo! But thankfully the university that I'm going to doesn't have a let's get wasted, you've just left home for the first time, this is a great idea mentality, and at least every other night there is some kind of... These events are not designed to get you absolutely wasted, it's designed for you to speak to other people and get to know each other, which I think should be fine, with people kind of coming from all over, really. Another thing that often I try not to think too hard about is that I will be, I'm one of those unlucky people born in 2003 that will be turning 20 this year at some point. I'm not 20 yet. Um, I'm trying not to reveal my birthday. But I will be 20 this year. And I think... When I turned 18, because... I think 18 is kind of the American 21. Or well, that was my understanding. Of kind of... Based on like the laws that allow you to do things when you get to a certain age. I think that's kind of the best comparison I can make. I was kind of just asking for the same things. I always ask for my birthdays every year where people are like, oh, what do you want? They're like games and books and like figurines. I never really asked for clothes, but so like games and books is what my usual go to. And people kind of were like messaging my mom being like, why doesn't she ask for something more like jewelry or makeup or grown up? And I'm like, it's, it's my birthday. I would ask what I want to. But I think that was kind of when I had the first kind of realisation of oh fuck I'm not a kid anymore and it's kind of weird that I want to ask for Lego City Undercover but I got it because I wanted it well that sounds very um, high and mighty I mean I wanted I thought it would be a fun game to get and someone bought it for me out of the kindness of their own heart but that was like kind of the first time where I was like oh fuck it's I'm a grown up now and I have to ask for grown up things like uh, jewellery and uh what what else do grown ups get for their birthday? Uh alcohol? I don't I don't mind a little bit of alcohol. But I think definitely this year I've kind of felt that in kind of like um I've felt that more than I have at any time. Like going to family events, I'm not allowed to find a quiet room and sit and play on my DS anymore. That almost feels like a, a, that's a right that I've lost. You know, like sometimes when you were a kid, you would kind of like your parents kind of like, go in this other room for a sec so they could talk about something important. And now I'm kind of at that point where I'm allowed in for some of these conversations, but not all of them. I'm allowed to be like Sometimes they're talking about like finance or health. I'm allowed to be there, but then sometimes I'm still getting the energy like I shouldn't be there. And I don't know if that's me or my entire selective group of family and friends are collectively mind telling me to get the fuck out of there. I don't know. It's weird. I think that's kind of just a part of getting older, you know? I mean, I think, I don't know if I'm, I would like to pick more of these. You can't kind of make them in too close of a, like, connection. But I thought I'd make one 
today because I had a bunch of different ideas about what I could do for the two year anniversary of my channel and I didn't want to let the fact that I only have like 30 subscribers stop me from doing that because it's my channel and I can do what I please. Um, but there was a part of me that was like, is anyone going to care? I mean, I know my mates will care. Um, and maybe like the odd subscriber or two. It was always really nice whenever I get a comment being like, oh, you're really underrated and that's really cool. And I really like that. It's it's very... It, it's It's quite hopeful when kind of getting into like content creation is really difficult because it almost feels like having watched YouTube for nearly 10 years now, um, there seems to always be kind of like, there'll be a big rise in a bunch of YouTubers, like when it was like, like when like, like PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye and Markiplier kind of, and all the Minecraft YouTubers kind of got started then, that was a big rise in content creation and then it kind of lulled and then there was a bit of a bounce. Um, and then kind of like in 2019, 2020, the whole like Dream SMP thing, that shot a bunch of YouTubers right into the kind of limelight once again. And I feel like it's going to be a really long time before another quote unquote YouTuber boost happens again. But if it does, I'll have plenty of content there for people to watch instead of just being a squeaky clean child with too much money and a su subscription to Adobe Premiere because I nearly didn't have editing software because it kept crashing and I was like oh god I've just spent so much money on this but yeah yeah <laughs> it's weird everything's changing and it's strange and I'm kind of at this point where I've been off college for well over a month now um, and I've kind of just been like, what do I do with myself? And I've just kind of been fully putting a lot of my time and energy into content creation. And I'm try, I'm, I'm kind of like waddling between the intense grind of content creation. Because I feel like when you first start, you really have to just throw everything at the wall and just see what sticks. And then kind of like when you get like a decent amount of followers going, you can kind of like, um, like let it die down a little bit and let like just kind of focus more on content. So I'm trying to upload three times a week plus shorts to try and like just get every, put everything out there, put every single meal that has ever been had a recipe made for it and put it on the table. And we'll just see how that goes. I might do more of these kind of closer into the summer. Um, because I have a lot of thinking to do about if I continue this when I go to uni. Um, because kind of my current goal is to get monetized, really. Maybe do a couple of live streams. But the problem is, you... One thing I need to do research into is I don't know if when you meet the criteria... I'll put a list of what, what criteria you need to meet, but there are two things that you have to meet which is a subscriber count and a number of posts per i think it's three posts every 90 days um which i am obviously currently hitting but obviously i think it's like you need 500 subscribers to be monetized and then another like a view count goal you have to meet um but i'm kind of i'm focusing on those two at the moment and it's like if i get monetized is there any point in if I don't get monetized, is there any point in continuing this while I'm at university? My understanding of halls is extremely outdated because the last person that I knew that moved out into halls for university was a cousin of mine and they went to university in 2016 because none of my mates went out and stayed out and none of my older siblings went to university. They all kind of like just found a job and moved out um, with flatmates and whatnot. So I'm kind of going into this a bit blind and obviously I don't want to be like at university and I'm in my room and I'm about to start recording and someone on the other side of the room just hears me go like, what's up guys? Because I will just crawl into a pit and die out of just sheer embarrassment. I always find it easier to record when there's nobody in the house. Like the, my dog Lola, she's currently just snoring. Oh, I've woken her. 
And I, I mean, she's a dog. She doesn't really care about what I'm doing. She's just wants to be, I can't say the word, but F-E-D, is, is, yeah, F-E-D'd. She just, she just wants her evening repast, which is what we've had to start calling her, because she gets too excited. We can't even say the first letter of the word because she still gets too excited. I've kind of lost my train of thought with this. This was meant to be a scripted video, um, but I checked my Google Docs to see if I had written a script for this, and I had um, written one sentence, which uh, in a Google Doc titled Halfway Point, which just goes, we've now gotten to the halfway point in the month, which is meant to say in the year. So I've kind of just been spitballing this, and I'm probably going to end up adding a message later once I go through all of this footage. But I think it's important to talk about these things, because like, we're now coming to July, we're in the summer, people are going to be off school. Um, that's what I'm kind of hoping for, is that when kind of the schools go out, the view count goes up, and I can like, I, w well, I would like to start live streaming once the summer hits, and I would like to, I, I kind of do expect to see a jump in like view count and numbers, because more people will now have the free time to just sit and watch YouTube while their eyes roll into the back of the head, um, like, because I know that's what I did. Not the eyes rolling into the head thing, but like, but like when the summer holidays would hit, I would just sit and watch YouTube for hours it was bad but i was very happy but i think that's kind of everything i want to cover we're at the halfway point in the year we've achieved some things i would like to hear what you guys have achieved in the comments tell me something that you've done this year that you're proud of and then something you want to achieve before the year ends i thought i heard someone in the house that still freaked me out but yeah that's all for now, and I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.